All right, ProFit members, we got your beginner's workout cardio. You're gonna increase your heart rate just a little bit. Take as many rests as you need to. Listen to your heart rate, no feeling dizzy or sick. That's the only rules. Other than that, work hard and have fun. We're gonna start with 30 seconds hip rolls. So it's rolling and then we're gonna switch. So you do a little march, bring up the hip out, bring it right back around. So here we go, 30 seconds and begin. So it's lifting and then stepping. Getting those hips warmed up. Staying tall, pulling with those abdominals as that hip comes up. All right, here we go. We're gonna take it wide. Toes slightly turned out, sumo squats. So we're gonna go all the way down and right back up. Again, 30 seconds of these right here. Dropping down and back up, staying tall. If you can get your elbows to go inside the knees, that's perfect. If it's only halfway, that's excellent. 10 more seconds. And time, go ahead and come on up. We're gonna go step lunges. So it's stepping forward and come right back. Stepping forward, fire back. See if you can't get a big push as you come back. So here we go, 30 seconds, and begin. Stepping forward and right back. Good. So it's there, pushing back. Staying tall, pulling those abdominals as you come back. They'll help with the balance. Good. Again, making sure that that weight is staying in your heels and rest. Perfect. All right. Next one, we're gonna take the heart rate up just a little bit. We got runners into butt kickers. We're gonna go 30 seconds. High knees right here. If you need to, marching is perfect. We're here, then we're gonna go 30 seconds. Butt kickers, you can just march it out as well. So here we go, high knee runners in 30, and go. So it's pump the arms, staying tall. Really try to use that core as you pull the knees up. Make sure you're breathing the whole time. Three, two, one, little forward lean. Start with those butt kickers. Again, you can be here. If the knees are feeling it, if the lungs are already feeling it, if you can pick up the intensity. Perfect, right there. Go ahead and shake those legs out. Nice job. So what we're gonna go with is a squat, pull the knee up to the elbow, back down, pull the knee to the elbow. So we're crossing each time. Great for getting the torso warmed up and we're still working those legs. 30 seconds, we'll go with the right leg to the left elbow first. So here we go, and down, cross. Again, pick a tempo that you can hold and maintain. If you're feeling this in the lungs, it's good, but make sure you can keep maintaining it. And done, right there. All right, we're gonna go planks. If we can, be up right here. Next level down to the knees. You can also be on the forearms if the wrists start to hurt. So right there, so 30 seconds of planks. And begin. Core is tight, breathing the whole time. And if you're feeling it in the back, go ahead and drop those knees down. Just really focus on pulling the core tight. 
Last 10 seconds, see if you can't come up on those toes if you've been down. Three, two, one, and rest. Nice job. Next one we're gonna do is just a lateral lunge. We're gonna be coming back to this later, so we'll teach it in the warm up. So it's gonna be stepping, lunging down, come back, switching directions, coming back. So step, make sure the weight's on the heel, squatting down, extending the far foot, pull all the way back in, weight down, pull back in. So we're gonna go 30 seconds of those and begin. And then pulling back. I'm ready to fly. All around. Good, this is great for warming up the adductors and inside the leg. Also gets our hips warmed up. And it works a little bit on coordination. Five more seconds. And up. There you go, you should have a nice heart rate going. You guys ready to go? All right. So we're gonna go with that same squat to knee lift that we just did in the warm up. 30 seconds, try to pick up the intensity a little bit if you can. So it's drop, pull, right there, or you can still keep that tempo a little bit lighter. Here we go, 30 seconds, and begin. So it's down, pull across. Good. Pulling that knee across. Make sure you're staying tall. Make sure the knees are still staying behind the toes the whole time. And your chest is staying up. So you're down, pull that across. Get a little twist in the torso. Really get those obliques engaged. Good, three more seconds. And rest. Okay, we're gonna go to the side lunge that we just ended the warm up with. Stepping out, if you can, pull the knee in. We're gonna drop back down. Knee in, drop back down. If the knee, the knee pulls a little too much, go ahead and lunge, step. We're gonna stay on the same side. Here we go, 30 seconds. Step into the right and begin. So step, pull that knee in. So it's just falling on that leg and coming right back up, pulling in that core. Then you can come here and right back. 10 more seconds. And rest. Okay, going to the other side. Here we go, 30 seconds and begin. So it's step, if you can, pull that knee up. Good, and again, you can come right back here. Chest is tall, still really trying to keep the weight in the heel of that foot. 10 seconds left. See if you can't get a couple knee pulls. And rest. There we go. How are we feeling? Heart right up. All right. One more round of that. So we got the squat with the knee pulls. If you're feeling a little fatigued, go ahead and just stick to that squat. If you can push it, get that knee pull up. Here we go. 30 seconds. And begin. So it's down. Pull that knee up. Again, twisting the torso gets more core. Ten seconds left. I'm ready to fly. Three, two, one. Good job. Breathe it out. Okay, one last time with the side lunges. Then we'll get a quick water break. So let's go to the left this time. We'll switch it up. And begin. Stepping out. You can pull that knee in. Or just bring it right back. Pull that knee up. Or 
Step in and make sure that core is staying tight. You're breathing strong. Five more seconds. And rest. All right, let's take it to the right. You right, guys are almost there. Last 30 seconds. And begin. Step in. Cam, pull that knee in. Or bring it in right here. Staying tall, hips go back, pull right back in. Ten seconds. And time right there. Good job. Go ahead and breathe, sit up tall. Try to control that heart rate. Okay, we're gonna go down to the ground for this next one. So we're gonna go onto our stomachs. We're gonna go cobras. So we're gonna be raising up, chest is lifted. Try pulling those shoulder blades back and then reach forward for your rest. And then you're gonna come up tall again. You wanna feel this right along your spine up high. So we're gonna go 15 seconds there. Then come on up and you're gonna go mountain climbers for 15 seconds and then right back down to the cobras. All right, everyone ready? And begin, cobras, come up tall, raise, and then reach forward and then come in all the way back up, good. Really focusing on feeling that back tighten up, pulling those elbows tight behind you and mountain climbers, set up high 15 seconds, charging those knees in. Make sure you're breathing. You wanna make sure that your hips are staying nice and level and they're not bouncing up and down. Five more seconds. And let's drop back down into those cobras. On our stomachs, hands are out in front. And begin. Really pulling those shoulder blades back, reaching back forward. A nice slow tempo. You want to really feel the back engage. We don't want to throw into this. Come on, nice and slow. Pull and reach forward. Perfect. Last one. Right into those mountain climbers. Last round and begin. 15 seconds. See how fast you can go without bouncing. Can you drive those knees? Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Ready to fly. Three, two, one and rest. Great job. All right, we're going to take this plank to a new level. So we're in that plank position. We're actually going to bring our knee across to the opposite wrist. We're going to cross right there. 30 seconds. This is great for building up those obliques, tightening up those sides. Here we go and begin. Bring the knee across and then switching, good. And we'll scoop that knee towards the ground. Perfect. Core is staying tight, sliding, reaching back. Great job. Five more seconds. And rest right there. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna go split squats or jump lunges, but no switching. So you're right here, and it's just a little hop. If you can't hop, just simply doing a lunge is perfect. Try to get a hop every few of them. So we got 15 seconds, and then we're gonna switch sides. You guys doing good? All right. And here we go, down, and just a little hop if you can get it. You can also stay in the lunge. Keeping that core tight. Chest is still up tall. And switch those legs. 15 seconds, and go. Good, making sure that those knees aren't going out over our toes as we're landing. We're on our heel, on that front foot. And time right there. 
Nice job. Okay, we're gonna go jump squats wide to narrow. So start narrow, it's a little squat, widen out right here. If you need to, you can just march it right now. Find your tempo that you can hold and maintain. 30 seconds and begin. Narrow, go to wide. And you can just march it. Making sure your chest is staying tall. Those knees are staying back behind our toes. So we're not here with our knees. We wanna be dropping down and coming in. Nice shot, five seconds left, keep it going. Come on, try two jumps and rest right there. Shake those legs out. One more round. Let's go ahead and start with the right foot forward. 15 seconds and go. Just a little hop. Again, doing this at your tempo. Each time you do it, you'll be able to push a little harder. Three, two, one. Switch those legs. Here we go. Those little hops, 30 se 15 seconds. Again, making sure that those knees are staying behind our toe. You should be able to tap your toe of your front foot, even in the jump. Three, two, one, and rest. Wide, narrow, we're almost done. Start with that narrow squat and begin down, a little wide. Doesn't have to be a big jump. And again, you can be marching. Make sure you're standing up tall and you're breathing. If you need to take a rest and breathe it out, you're doing good. 10 seconds left. Push just a little bit past that comfort zone. Three, two, one, right there. Nice job. Go and breathe, we're almost done. Now we get to do push-ups. The fun part, right? So for our push-ups, we're gonna come down. We're actually gonna do chest to deck. So what we're doing is lowering all the way down, Hands up, explode up. All the way down, hands up, exploding up. You can do this from your knee position, still at the same time. But it's sticking with that cardio idea of keeping the heart rate up by doing an explosive movement. So we got 30 seconds of that. You guys up to it? Yeah. Let's go. So we're starting up in our tall position. It's about lowering down slow and exploding up. 30 seconds and go. Down slow, lift, and then press. Down slow, lift, and press. Again, you can do this from the knee position or the full position and explode. And explode up, right back down. Explode up. And time right there. Great job. All right, we're gonna go to a little bit of core. So we're gonna go laying on our back. We're gonna do what's called a body bridge. Heels are just gonna be underneath us. So we're in a nice line. We're just pressing the hips as high as we can, holding right there. And we're just gonna do alternating legs. If the hands are up, it makes it a little harder. Hands down are gonna make it the easiest. So we're gonna go 30 seconds. So everyone's laying flat. Tighten up that core, lift those hips, and hold that position, and flex, and right back down. How high can you keep those hips? If you need to, you can even pulse at the top, really lifting as you extend the leg. Ten more seconds, and lift. And rest right there. All right, just a nice basic. Laying on our back, 
toes are going to be touching. So we're just going to lift and then lower right back down. So lift and just letting those toes touch. The heels are never going to touch the ground. It engages our hips. So we use more abdominal than hip flexor. 30 seconds and go. So crunch, tap the toes. Trying to get those elbows to come on the outside of the knees. If you can just get them to come to the thighs, that's perfect. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. There we go. All right, pro fitters, you finished your first beginner cardio. Keep at this one, come back to it again. Try to push yourself a little bit harder each time. Listen to your breathing and really try to control that. Right now, let's just go to our lunge position. Sitting up tall, breathing. Just gonna push those hips forward. It's a nice basic one. Go ahead and take that right arm up. Lightly grab your wrist and just bend to the side. Go ahead and straighten that front foot, reaching for the toe. Again, just breathing. If you can, you can try to take your knee, your head to your knee. And let's switch those feet. Good, pushing those hips forward. Reach the left arm up, pull across. Straighten the front leg and reach for that toe. Good, and slowly stand. Just gonna take our legs wide and just slowly reach down to that center. Just letting your body hang. Slowly raise up. Reach all the way up. Bend it to the right. Allowing that rib cage really to open up. Back up center and go ahead and go to the left. Open those arms up wide, pulling the shoulder blades back and down. And great job today, guys. Good job. Lots of water, eat some food, and we'll see you next time.